In this section of the tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create an LD plot from a marker map spreadsheet, define a haplotype block for a region of interest, and create haplotype frequency tables for that block. So you can see that I have here a genotype spreadsheet that's been marker mapped. This is designated by the green map button in the upper left corner of the spreadsheet, which if I click on, you can see the marker map information. First, mapping your genotype spreadsheet is critical, as it orders the markers according to chromosome position and ensures the LD structure is correct. So to create an LD plot, you can simply click on the LD icon here, or you can go to the plot menu and select linkage disequilibrium. Now the first thing the software is going to do is try to generate an LD plot across the entire genome, where it does break up between chromosomes, but nonetheless it is trying to do a whole genome LD computation here. We don't need to wait for the computation to finish. We can simply zoom into the area we're interested in, which happens to be on chromosome 14 for this tutorial. You can do that either by double clicking on 14 here, or there's a region selector up on top here where you can just copy and paste the region you want. So now that I've zoomed in to this area of LD, the next step I want to do is define a haplotype block around it. To do that, simply right click on the leftmost marker of the LD structure, select create block for that SNP, and then hover over the right edge of that block, which is now one marker wide, and drag that all the way to the right so that it covers the entire block. You can see that as I define that block, there's actually some marker statistics in the screen down here in the lower left corner. This particular block is 148 kb in length. It has nine markers. And then listed below here are several EM frequencies for possible haplotype combinations. But what I want to do is generate haplotype tables that contain more information so that I can join that with my phenotype and do association testing. To do that, now that that block has been selected, I can go over here to my tables for block one in this item tab and just click the haplotype tables button, which brings up the haplotype tables window. Now what I want to do is I want to define a haplotype frequency threshold of 0.001. This will show more of the haplotypes in the table. And I'm also going to select per sample EM, per sample CHM, and overall haplotype frequencies, and then click Run.